We are back once again in the Lighthouse Diary, Outdoors Edition. It's been a minute. Um, and I thank you for low key reminding me of that. So I want to show you a little bit of the view of where I am today. I'm near, uh, I believe, is called Confederation Park. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure I decided to myself like, oh yeah, I definitely gotta do something here, and then I just, I don't know, I, I kept putting it off. But yeah, let me show you like the view on the other side. But I'm basically at a community center. Um, after running some errands for my womanly needs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, TMI in the Lighthouse Diary as usual, although I tried to uh, pull the reins back a little bit. I'm pretty sure um, that's not news to you. But anyway, okay, this is going to be, I'm trying to make this as concise as possible because I have so much more to say. I just don't know how to say it in the most clear and calm way. So for the time being, I'm just gonna say this. Okay. To my brothers and sisters out there, whoever is watching this right now, if you have ever been subject to the ugly treatment, uh, I'm pretty sure this probably isn't the first time I've ever uh, covered this, but I just haven't focused so much on it as of late. <sighs> but anyways, getting back on topic. If you have found yourself in a situation where it's just like, oh shit, you know, you know, maybe so-and-so or like this group of people or like the opposite gender or like my relatives, my friends, like, my coworkers, my boss, my dog, my cat, <laughs> right about me, about being butt ugly, being toes nasty, just being the dirt of the earth. Okay, little shout out to Sim GM Productions. Anyways, back on topic. <sighs> Please know that ugliness is not a crime. I have never found in the Bible that ugliness is a sin, necessarily. I mean, find a passage in the Bible and prove me wrong, like, if I am wrong, okay? But, like, it's not. It's not a sin to be ugly. It is not a crime to be ugly, although, you know, you may meet people who would treat it like it is. You know what I mean? You might even meet groups of people who treat it like it is, but like, shit. You still have, I know it's such a cliche, but it's true though, you still have every right to enjoy your life. You still have every right to be happy in life. You know what I mean? I'm, okay. Cause I'm gonna be honest, like this is, I'm gonna say something mean, okay? Like as often as I would get the ugly treatment, by the same token, I would see, you know, famous or like influential people, you know, people with more power in society than I have, you know, and they may not be my aesthetic cup of tea, but am I, <laughs> okay, like maybe, you know, as a younger person, I probably would have said like, oh, you nasty anyway, you ain't shit anyway, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to keep that under control as, as a you know, as a legal adult, but like, you <laughs> think, damn, you know what I mean? Like, I just think it's pointless to go up to somebody and, you know, just let them know, like, oh, you ain't even, like, cute enough, you ain't even, like, sexy enough to do what you want to do anyway, like, because honestly, I just don't see how I would profit from that, personally, because I know in my heart that my doing that it's not going to make me sexier. It's not going to make me cuter. It's not going to make me more desirable than that person. You know what I mean? And I don't want this to be a subtweet, okay? I'm not even on Twitter anymore. I don't even want this to be a subtweet, okay? Like, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying that I personally don't 
have the energy to go out of my way to do that to somebody and it's not like it's not like I can tell anybody what to do you know what I mean but I just wanted to put in my two cents okay even though my nail polish is chipped off like I just because I'm not even gonna lie like I would find myself you know demonizing myself for you know not being so and so not being this cover girl not being that maybelline girl not being uh whoever else <laughs> not being that girl on tumblr not being that girl on we heart it whatever the case may be like i would beat myself up over it like not just because you know i admittedly internalized these ugly treatment experiences but like shit like i would just genuinely feel to myself like yo shit like i i will never be like you know that kind of a girl I'll never be like womanly enough and that kind of thing and I'm not so sure if like or at least I, I never had or at least I can't remember like a guy friend coming up to me and feeling like yo I'm not like I don't feel like manly enough man next to like this guy or anything like that which, which makes sense because like I know you know that side of the gender spectrum uh, you know males are trained to not be so verbal about you know insecurities and that kind of thing which makes sense and that kind of Thing. I mean if that's like your natural like personality type like like I'm not gonna knock you for it like male or female but like you know I'm just saying so yeah I just wanted to I just wanted to start off like with that I'm not too sure if I want to do a little uh uh self-esteem theme uh going forth I'm not going to shy away from it but yeah I just kind of wanted to like open that up a little um so yes this was slightly unusual but not really uh in terms of topics for the lighthouse diary but i'll see you in the next entry my throat is kind of dry i will not attempt to hit that note but what i will do is that <laughs> Good night, good morning, uh, enjoy your day, enjoy your sleep, whatever it is you're going to do next, and yeah, we're going to hang out again.